Hi dear friends, good morning. Welcome to my channel. It's Akshara Dare by Devraj. So let me start our today's news people. Before going to start the news people, I will request you guys to uh, please subscribe to my channel and watch the video till the end to get to know the uh, skills and uh, tactics to know, improve your communication in English. So I hope you guys are preparing to improve our communication in english and uh, so i'm going to bring uh, the videos in uh, different languages so that is uh, kannada and hindi and telugu uh, which uh, are which is very important for everyone so uh, i hope you guys guys would utilize the opportunity and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video if you like the video and uh, it would be very uh, easy for you to get the notification when i update the videos uh, new videos related to education health and uh, personal interviews related to uh, especially about uh, interviews for the teachers so i hope you guys are enjoying the learning let's start today's news people Yes, guys. Uh, today's newspaper front page. Yes, this is the front page. Let me start reading the newspaper. See, by books, X and C B officer, officer Wang Kedi. Ten cookie MLAs seek separate administration. Imran Khan released after court grants bail. Have a fun boat journey, but turned into disaster. It points to government failure in imposing safety rules. Inflation slips to an 18-month low of 4.7 percent. Reading stays below RBI's 6 percent tolerance threshold for price rise. It hit a high of 7.7.8 percent last April. Prices of pulses, cereals, milk remain a concern. All the key parties on the heads uh, as vote counting is taken up today. Yes, today is the uh, counting day of Karnataka Legislative Assembly. Uh, prediction of Assembly for outcome tough. Parties hold informal meets. Uh, Supreme Court questions Bengal ban. TN alert on Kerala story. Indian Boer case. CC may give three months to SEBI to finish proof. Steep high high cop average seventy five say for unit in power tariff across categories. How the portions of Canada films were knocked for six. the indian premier league sslc and pre university exams and elections to the legislative assembly played a party part in the game this is advertisement then cbs results bangalore region bags Second highest pass 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 percentage. And then the from Subramaniam higher ninety eight point four percent class at the twelfth topper in science stream. This is the exam. This institution achieve excellent results. Prohibitory orders clamp the sale of liquor banned today. Domestic tariff slaps reduced from four to two, two for discount consumers. To rationalize and simplify tariffs, Karnataka Electricity Regulatory Commission 
announced that urban and rural categories will be merged into a single category under which rural consumers can avail themselves of a rebate of 35 cents per unit incentives intense incentives withdrawn don't block ingress and egress of a shopkeeper on gandhi which has it tells bbmp rocky sounds as been accused of making calls to rape survivor from jail all india bank employees association three arrested in alleged caste waste double murder case the complainant charged that two youths were killed by the accused for drinking water from the same jar at a hotel in esergatta a relative of the deceased said the accused came in a car and deliberately hit the bike on which gopala nagaraj and ramaya were riding this is very condemned choradi bus accident claims one more life painter falls to death builders can breathe easy the recent falls in repo rate hike is likely to boost housing demand and provide scope for new launches says srinivasa rao we accept expect the repo rate to remain stable for one more quarter which will ultimately strengthen the economy and create a conducive environment for the real estate industry to cooperate efficiently G R E D I to build over a thousand green projects in the next two years. Around fifty percent of builders expect housing prices to rise further in twenty twenty three. A combination of factors has made prediction of this poll outcome tough. Parties hold informal meetings and assess a situation. All three main parties are on the edge. Gap between man and man. women voters have steadily declined in state victory margin was highest in castle karnataka in 2018 bjp will form government even if it doesn't get majority lakhan election hangover keeps farmers away from their land according to one farmer apart from the full hangover money has been distributed in good measure by all port- political parties and hence workers are taking it easy betting mania grips people had up results panel to study medicos issues air force authorities transfer land for suburban rail project at jawaharlal four elephants electric electrocuted in ap village dredging and desilting pools a threat to arrive red lace as they return to kerala's tottapalli for nesting moist sanders in telangana Welfare spending has been getting a regular pr- pruning. There is the asymmetry power. Top court ruling on services is a boost for representative government in Delhi. Diagnostic imaging of the Rajasthan are right to health act. Let me read today uh, editorial page. Make it visible. Yes, now it is visible. Uh, this year, this year's a uh, union budget what was criticized by experts over a decline in allocations for welfare schemes in real terms at a time of forced COVID nineteen recovery. When welfare spending should have been a priority. Similarly, last year's budget to ignored social spending in favor of capital expenditure. The analysis below, based on budget papers, shows that trend. of declining central government spending on critical social schemes is not new having begun when a national democratic alliance government came to power in 2014 since then central allocations for welfare schemes and sectors that ensure basic rights have declined as a proportion of gdp saksham angan saksham anganwadi and posham poshan 2.0 aims to address child mal- malnutrition and hunger from 2021 to 2022 the anganwadi program icds was merged with poshan abhiyan and a nutrition scheme for adolescent girls even with more components its allocation went down from 0.13% of gdp in 2014-15 to 0.07% in 2023 to 24 almost half of what it was 
According to National Family Health Survey, NHF, MNFHS, five data, the percentage of anemic and white and stunted children in India is 67%, 32% and 36%, respectively, which is among the worst in the world. Eight funds meant to address malnutrition are being slashed with abundance. Another important nutrition scheme is the midday meal scheme covering almost 12 children, 12 crore children. Evidence shows that the scheme has led to an improvement in class attendance, learning as well as nutritional outcomes and reduced stunting in children. However, the budget allocation for MDM are decreased by 50% as a share of FOB GDP from 0.08% in 2014 to 2015 to 0.04% in 2023-2024. In 2021, the Ministry of Finance rejected a breakfast at school plan citing funds constraint, a plan that has shown promising results in Tamil Nadu within a year. Lastly, the PM Matru Vandana Yojana provides maternity benefits as a conditional cash transfer of 5,000 to women in the unorganized sector to cover all women and births as per the National Food Security Act mandate. The scheme needs around 14,000 crore, but the PMMBY budget is yet to cross 3,000 crore. Working class distress versions. The Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act and NFSC have also declined as a share of GDP since 2014. MG NREGA guarantees 100 days of employment to every rural household, whereas the NFSC provides subsidized grains to over 80 crore people. MG NREGA expenditure as a share of GDP went from 0.26% in 2020, 2014 to 2015 to 0.2% 2, 2, 0 in a uh, 2023 to 2024 for an FSA to 0.65% this year from 0.94% in 2020, 2014 to 2015. As experts point out, NGNREGA and the, and the public distribution system were key to averting disaster during the pandemic. Both schemes saw record demand in 2022 to 2021. MGNREGA saw 8.55 crore households while employment. While public distribution system grain uptake was 93 million tons, leading to an expenditure of 2.73% and 0.56% of GDP and NFSC and MG and IGA. Respectively, however, since 2020 2022 2021, NFSC and MG and IGA allocations have declined rapidly as a share of GDP. As the economist Jean Dredge, Dredge highlighted recently, real wages of casual workers grew at less than 1% year from 2020, 2014 to 2015 to 2021-22. According to Reserve Bank of India data, Professor Judge Dredge argues that this worrying trend calls for a reorientation of economic policies with a sharp sharp focus on drivers of wage growth. The National Social Assistance Program is a scheme that provides pensions to the elderly widows and disabled individuals below the poverty line and mandatory assistance to families that have lost a great breadwinner. As a share of GDP, its allocations went down from 0.606% in 2014 to 15 to 0.03% in 2024. The share steadily declined over this period, period except for 2020 to 21, when it was 0.2% with COVID relief in cash included in the NSAP. The NSAP cuts go against advice from 60 hard economists who have been urging the government for long to increase the paltry pension amounts of 24 months for the elderly and 304 widows. The pensions have not increased since 2016-2006. As you share up GDP, central expenditure on school education, primary and secondary has steadily declined from 0.37% in 2014-15. To 0.323% in 2023 to 24. It is, it is surprising to see no increase here even after the pandemic, which had catastrophic effects, effects including a surge in primary dropout, dropout rates because of over 70 weeks of social closures, double the global average. Only a marginal healthcare gains. gains. Healthcare expenditure, unlike others, rose under the NDA government. 
the share of central health expenditure in gdp went up from 0.2% in 2014 to 15 to 0.3% this year while this is a welcome rate change it's too little to too late in a post covid world according to the latest state of wards children report by unicef india has the lowest vaccination rates in south asia furthermore india's out of pocket expenditure on health remains much higher than the global average pushing millions into poverty each year for these schemes sectors for which comparable data was available the allocation saw a noticeable increase from 2004-5 to 2013-14 the share of gdp remained stable for mdm food subsidy and health care tripled for icds doubled for ncap nsap and increased by 45% for school education with a combined increase from 1.4% to 48% of gdp in 2004-5 to 0.1.8% in 2014-15 but then it dropped to 1.32% this year under the nda government on the other hand the nda government was relatively successful in delivering tangible goods a policy paradigm subramanian at etc all uh, 2021 refer to as the new welfareism of the right that they show that, that considerable progress has been made in access to cooking fuel electricity and financial inclusion of women with an accelerated pace of improvement since 2015 the authors argue that they there are rich electoral gains in new welfareism as tangible goods and services are easier to deliver monitor and attribute to the central government when compared with traditional government services such as primary education and child nutrition a stagnant hd high rank it is only fair to expect that as country's gdp grows its expenditure on welfare programs should grow proportionally proportionately in fact going by international experience the share of social expenditure in gdp should be rising over time in india the vital importance of social security programs was acknowledged by the pro government when it is raised the budget allocation for all the aforementioned schemes during the pandemic year to 4.3 percent of gdp but we are now back to just 4.5 percent according to the world social production afforded by the international labor organization only 24.8 percent of the indians are recovered by at least one social security scheme against the against the asian specific average of 44 percent its result can be clearly seen in india's stagnant human development index rank at 132 and rising malnutrition levels it is difficult for india to be a superpower with an uneducated and unhealthy population it from a fiscal prudence is a worry which suggests the government require the 4.3 lakh crore of revenue of far gone due to tax con- concessions during the during nda first and another 1.85 lakh crore of far gone between 2019 to 21 after lowering corporate tax rates in 2019 this is about the uh, this will be spending which has made by the present government in the central let me read this a diagnostic imaging of the rajasthan right to health act the rajasthan right to health bill which became an act in april had caused a bitter row following which the state government agreed on some exclusions many doctors uh, termed the act draconian while public health activists uh, have largely stood by it but there are certain aspects of the act that have attracted little discussion which also make it unfit to be an ideal president for other streets iterations before and after comparing the two iterations of the rth bill one before and another after the select committee review is a good starting point for a review the primary iteration was sent for the select committee's review in 2022 and the amended bill was passed on March 21, 2020, which stoked protests. Even a cursory review uh, brings out how the amended version, <coughs> which sparked the row, was itself a highly moderated. The version attuned strongly 
to the interest of the medical community. Following the select committee's amendments, some definitions, accidental emergency, emergency care, and first aid were added to the bill. In addition, the terms designated health care centers were was increased, and a reimbursement class for unpaid emergency care was added. These additions are commendable. However, most other changes in the amended bill were not so salutary, at least so as far as protecting public health interest is concerned. This shows foremost in the renewed composition of the state and district health authorities. For the state health authority, the initial iteration included with three representatives from Ayurveda, Homeopathy, and Yunani as exo officio members. Instead, the amended bill had provision for only one representative from the alternative medical system, with medical education representatives filing for the remaining two. What is more even more striking is that the amended bill swapped public health or hospital management experts with Indian Medical Association representatives is as nominated members. This leaves these authorities with little or no representation from the public health fraternity. And mostly important most importantly from the community for which the act is aimed. Further, the force of the administration organs were significantly circumscribed in the amended bill. The grievance and redress system proposed in the initial iteration was also significantly overhauled in the amended bill. Initially proposed to be handled through web portals, helpline centers and officers concerned within 24 hours. Patient grievances will now be handled by the very health care institution in question within three days. This introduces a conspicuous conflicts of interest. That apart, it stands to comfort the administrative burden of hospitals. This predisposes patient grievances to being slow, sloppily uh, or perpunctually handled and more happen than not, being settled informally, informally. Health legislation embraces not just curative medical care but also health promotion, disease prevention and important social determinants such as nutrition which have a stronger bearing up on health than medical care. The current RTH Act lacking in public health representations is ill positioned to achieve these ends or to serve as a template for other states or a pan-India legislation. Coming now to the memorandum of understanding which made the bill somewhat palatable for doctor associations. The state government has assured that private multiple specialty hospitals with less than 50 beds and those that have not availed of concessions or subsidized land or buildings from the government will be kept out of the habit of the law even if temporarily it effectively excludes the plethora of small and medium bomb hospitals with predom which predominate in the healthcare landscape, particularly outside the urban agglomerations. agglomerations. Contracts that contract this with this with the the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act, the US legislation ensuring public access to emergency care, which covers 98% of to hospitals. The pro prognosis Despite being a moderate bill, some of the objections calling for an in toto repeal have been rather privileged. For instance, over the ambiguous definitions of some terms such as emergency, medical legal definitions are perennially given to ambiguities, and even widely accepted definitions are typically imprecise and replete with ambiguities. It only behoves all parties in such cases to work together to arrive at the best elaboration, rather than demanding an outright repeal of a bill with far-reaching implications for public health behind just emergency care. Again, the EMTALA example shows that some residual ambiguities are irredeemable and are routinely navigated using risk-benefit and reasonable confidence principles. The foremost lesson for the state is that such legal pronouncements should be meticulously drafted to preempt a portion from arising in the first place. Second, for any true health legislation to arise, the government has to keep away from being swayed by organized medical interests alone. The common subtext of most uh, medical protests 
has been that private medical practice should be as laissez faire as possible which is incompatible with equitable a universal health care governments and the medical community should sensitize themselves to the broader social dimensions of health and health legislation last but not least governments should realize that getting on to such radical pieces of legislation without threshold levels of the hand of financial preparedness and can backfire as it is the state's obligation to provide health care and not the top health care providers by disregarding their own livelihood this is about the health right to health act which has been amended in the rajasthan welcome initiative ayush collaboration with im scm more for scientific validation is the right step ground zero tragedy at tanur last sunday a boat packed with local tourists and uh, behind its capacity capsized in the pura pujala estuary in tanur in malap puram district of kerala abdul adib naha and john l paul report on the tragedy which claimed 22 lives which claimed 22 lives including 11 from the just one family and the continuing failure of the state in imposing safety norms it's very bad incident as it has courts not to relay on april 26 harder and depart bail monitoring violet satra says congress rajasthan charge inflation shows slows to an 18 month low of 4.7% hc order scientific survey of shivling hc word it provides constitutional clock to shinde government bjp mp will move hc if speaker fails to decide on disqualification of emily so says uddhav well pay without discrimination is too secular as says modi india fine 30 lakh file suspended for 3 months 10 cookie legislators face leeches from manipur demand separate administration the mla says the state government tacitly supported the unabated violence by the majority community and miserably failed to protect the tribes Congress blames two Medhi Sindhu outfits for arson and the looting of police weapons. Center prepares new model prisons act with focus on reform. CBI book six and CBI official one kid on grab charge in cruise case. No democracy in West Bengal under Mamata Banerjee. Head up G20 meet. Sri Nagar gets its first pedestrian market. CPSC results say the first 7.33 percent of students cleared class 12th. Cyclone Mocha to be a severe but little threat to India. <coughs> Coverage area and a paddy coverage dips by 1.9 one lakh. Active senior Chhattisgarh official held in liquor scam case. Lack of committees against sexual harassment is disquieting. Says SC. Master government revokes a suspension of Parambir.
हाव एविडन्स ऑफ रशिया पे खानलाइन लॉबिंग एडोगन वायर रिवर फैमिली सिक्स शेल्टर इन मैनमो सैक्लोन मोचा अपोजिस लिंडा एस एस सी रोइनो इज ट्विटर्स न्यू सी यू टू बी एन बिजनेस ऑपरेशन जलन्स की बैड फ्रॉम एड्रेसिंग यूरोविजन सॉन्ग कंटेस्ट इन यू के इस्लामाबाद एस सी ग्रैंड बेज टू इमरान बॉस पोलिस प्रमोटिंग Fierce fighting renews has in Gaza as crews hopes paid. California Senate passes bill banning caste discrimination. China to send envoy to Ukraine. Russia has spot up fee supports. Russia acknowledges a free trade north of Bakhmut. Wagner keeps calls it a route. Manufacturing electricity output drag IIP growth to a five-month low. Industrial production suspended 1.1 percent in March, breaking sharply from the February 5.8 percent pace as per consumer durables and non-durables posted year-on-year and contractions. Factory output growth moderated to 5.1 percent in financial year 23 from 11.4 percent a year earlier. FM meets IMF. Meeting Georgie via Georgie was on sidelines of G7 meeting. Aviation leasing watchdog puts India on watch list for NCRT's go first order. Risk of U.S. default hurts the slowing global economies due to small parts. G7 finance chiefs weigh pairing supply chain or chains reliance on China. PV dispatches rose a 13 percent in April. Tata Motors stands Q4 net up. Five thousand four not eight crore. Have yet to join the twelve other regulators to tackle greenwashing risks. Shuya Kumar has also made an IPL century as maiden moves to third. We know the kind of cricket we have to play. Super chains need to come good against sunrises. Capitals look to full down kings in a battle struggles. Strugglers. Jaiswal was faced by a disciplined approach. The 21 year old is giving priority to his preparation, being in the zone and always trying to learn and improve. Swetak gets up to perfect start in Italian Open. Branch for Branch for Boria, Nishant Nasimuddin, Nas Usamuddin. Brother and Nancy claim a rifle silver in Baku WC World Champion. Weekend sport. Shaili Singh fights to leap from Hanju Babi George. The 19-year-old long jump was spotted and demolished by Hanju and Robert Babi George. Looks capable of surpassing a mental sparkling record. Flickering. European dream can Watkins rekindle Villas? The 27-year-old striker had driven the Birmingham club up the Premier League table, but a four-game lull has jeopardized chances of his top six finish. Will the hit man who has caught the eyes of severe several big clubs rediscover his touch in his front touch in front of goals? Wally has always scored, but he is understanding a little bit more how to attack the spaces and when he has to drop to get the ball. Understands everything as striker. What is in back page? This is a book back page. Yes, guys, uh, this is the hand lost page. We can sport. I think he is a fabulous, fabulous player. He asks all the questions a defender doesn't want asked. This is the lost page about the weekend sport. Please read the newspaper at least forty minutes to two hours every day to improve your communication in English. So I hope you guys are doing the same to make it very effective in communication.
so let's uh, see you in the upcoming videos guys have a great day bye bye take care